Welcome back. It's from quiz to quiz, competition to competition. And we're now going to be telling you about the G-Step competition and how some young ones are embarking on projects to solve some of Ghana's problems. So it's all about G-Step. Joining us for a conversation, we have Judith Tetelate, member Xavier Genius, uh, St. Francis Xavier RC Basic School, Kutubabi. And there's also Joshua Abudu, member Maverick Engineers, University of Ghana Staff Village, JHS. Um, Joshua, Judith, both with J names. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Okay, so I'd like to find out from both of you, um, what is G-Step about? If I asked you, what is G-Step, this whole project, what is it about? I'll start with you, Judith. Okay, so G-Step is a platform that gives students the opportunity to come out with ideas to solve Ghana's problems. Okay, ideas to solve Ghana's problems. Yes, please. I'm sure you've identified a lot of them, right? Mm, yes. Okay. Let me come to um, Joshua then. For you, I mean, what does all of this mean, G-Step? What does it mean to you? Yes, as she said, G-Step is a platform that like, brainstorms the young minds, mm. help them to discover problems in the society and in Ghana as a whole, and providing solutions to them to make the lives of the others better. Okay. So I know each one of you has a project. Yes, please. And there's a challenge to it. What is your project? What is the challenge? Well, my project is building a smart innovate mixer. A smart innovate mixer. Innovate mixer. Yes. What is that? Um it's, it's a vital construction tool or equipment used to automatically mix mortar at construction sites. Oh, I see. That's, that's an, an interesting one. In fact, just yesterday, I was, I was monitoring something about, you know, this product. Uh, this just came to mind, where, you know, the cocoa pods, yeah. right? One of the most difficult things is to crack them. It takes a lot of time. And someone had come out with a product that could crack so many of them very speedily, you know, innovations. But for you, what is your project challenge? Um... The name of our project is Solar Multi Electric Windmill, for short, SME Windmill. Okay, mention the full thing again. Solar? Solar Multi Electric Windmill. Solar Multi Electric, Electric windmill. windmill. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's a device that is used to charge basic appliances such as mobile phones, mm. laptop, mobile banks at um, coastal areas. And the problem is that most of these low-income households living within the coastal areas mm. do not have access to electricity, or should I say, do not even have access to an electricity to charge their mobile phones or their basic appliances. So we decided to make this device to help them charge their basic appliances. Okay. So with these projects that you have, what is the end game? What are you hoping to achieve with them? Your mortar mixer. Tell us. So what, do you, what, what solution really are you providing? Um, so in our locality, um, it's developing. And to our analysis and everything, we can see that whenever there's a building being set up, um, when the concrete is cast, everything else is mortar from plastering, rendering, etc. Mm. So construction workers, mostly the masons, manually blend mortar ingredients on the platform or on the floor. Um, this requires like a physique or a posture. They exert considerable efforts to get the right mix. So bending down, waist strains, um, spine and every, like muzzle strains are imposed on our workers, slowing down the labor force in our community. So mm. we came up with this idea to automatically blend or mix the mortar ingredients, making the work, the construction work of our masons faster, easier, and more accurate. Of course, work, doing it easier, is always the best way to go. Doing it smarter, and that's exactly what you're doing. Now with your solution, what, you've mentioned a few things, but how is it going to address, like you said, in some areas, electricity and all that? What are you hoping it will, it will achieve in the end? We are hoping that these low-income households within the coastal areas 
will be able to charge their basic appliances. Mm. So we are actually thinking of making it in the form of a plant. Oh, wow. Yes. A whole plant. A whole plant so that it will distribute the electricity to their homes to charge their mobile phones and laptop and mobile banks. I see. You guys had a pitching and judging event. Yeah. I'll start with you this time, Judith. How did it go? Uh, I like the smile on your face and the little... Uh, how was, did they go? It was, it was okay. We were nervous, but we break through. You were nervous, but you made it through. Yeah. Were you also nervous, Josh? Okay. Yeah. You were. Okay. How, many, how many are you in your team? Um, we are six. Six of you. Okay. At the end, I'll ask you an interesting question. But are there any key things you would say you have learned from this G-Step uh, program that even beyond this, you'll carry along with you? I'll start with you this time, Josh. Yes, I've learned a lot. Okay. Tell us about some of them. How to code and um, how to use the Arduino. So how to code? Yeah, how to mm -hmm. code. How to? Use the Arduino to perform like marvelous okay. versions and yeah, 3D modeling. 3D modeling. Yes. Okay. I learned that too. Yeah. Interesting stuff. What have you learned that you'll carry along with you? I've learned how to communicate with people because at first I was kind of shy and I don't want to. So you're coming out of yourself now, speaking in front of crowds and all of that. So in other words, your confidence has been built, right? Confidence has been built. Mm. Um, as part of this program, what are you hoping in the end? What are some of your aspirations as part of this program? At the end of everything, what are you hoping you would have achieved? My team and I we hope we would have provided more windmills, solar multi-electric windmills to these coastal areas because we feel they are really in need of it. Okay. For you? Yeah, as he said. Our team and I also wish us to create more smart, innovate mixes distributed to our locals for work to be mm. faster, easier. And Is this something you hope will be commercial someday? Yes, please. Okay. So the business aspect of it is also there. Yes, please. Smart guy, smart guy, smart guy. Anyway, so finally, uh, before you leave us with the, or as part of your parting words, what would you like to be in future? Lawyer. A lawyer? Yes, not bad. You? But I want to be a mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineer. Yes, You're looking at our future right here. The stars of the future are right here. Any final words? I want to tell every young child out there that keep dreaming big. It's possible. Okay. And I know your school, the St. Francis Xavier School yes. in Kotobabi. I know your school. And uh, your final words? Yeah. I would encourage anyone yeah, to, I mean, follow their dreams and their passions. And, and those, whether teachers or whatever, who guide you in preparing all of this, what would you like to say to them? Mm, I would like to say a very big thank you, your guidance and yeah, coaching and everything. All right. Thank them so much. God bless them. All right. Thank you so much for coming through, Judith Tete Latte. Member Xavier Genius uh, in the St. Francis Xavier RC Basic School in Kotobabi, and of course uh, Joshua Abudu, uh, Member Maverick Engineers, University of Ghana Staff Village, JHS. We wish you the very best for the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. And that's G Step. They are stepping out there academically and, of course, in style, solving problems. We take a breather. We'll be back with more after the break.